Totality is coming to Indiana, but will we be able to see it with clouds? We want to give you your cloud forecast because if we have too many clouds, we won't be able to really see the shadow as it comes in. We won't be able to see the corona. Things will get dark, but the experience won't quite be the same. So what is our cloud forecast as the moon shadow comes right over central Indiana. Here's what we're thinking. We're actually in between two storm systems for April 8th. That's Monday. Got something kind of coming through Sunday. Maybe a spotty shower with that and maybe another storm system coming up for Tuesday. If we can keep the storm systems on those specific days, Monday gives us a little bit of a window where we could possibly see some totality, but it's not for sure that we will be completely clear. Here's the thing. When you're in between two storm systems, we're probably going to have some sort of clouds, but some good news. That's what we have for you. We're going to have a lot of updates on the cloud forecast, but we think that first storm system may still be lingering in the morning, probably kind of cloudy, maybe even overcast for some of us. But throughout the day, those clouds should be pushing off towards Ohio by lunchtime, right around midday. We could be about 50 50% coverage on those clouds. What we're saying is not necessarily 50% chance of clouds, but when you look at the sky, maybe about 50% of it. So half of it will have some clouds. The other half may have a little bit more clear sky and probably mix some of that as well. Closer to totality. So just after three o'clock, we're thinking about 20 to 40% across much of Indiana. Maybe that 20% will be more for Western Indiana, the 40% closer to Eastern Indiana as we're pushing the clouds to the east into Ohio. So when we're thinking about this, we're also thinking about a lot of high clouds. A lot of times when you're in between two storm systems, you don't have too many low clouds or or medium level clouds. You have a lot of high clouds. So this is kind of what we would think the sky may look like during the totality during the total solar eclipse. You got these high cirrus clouds out there where you can still see the sun, but not with as much definition. It could be hard to see the corona, but at least if we have to have clouds, you'd rather have these clouds rather than low or mid-level clouds. They have a lot more water droplets and ice crystals. Those are the ones that get really thick and you can't see anything. It would almost be just an overcast evening. But at least with this, we could possibly see some of the totality take place with a little bit of some cool factor to it still as well. You may also see the shadow a little bit more easily if you've got a high cirrus canopy. Be racing in really quick. It may only take like a second or two but if you have clear skies, you don't actually see the shadow do that. It just gets dark. But with some of these high level clouds, you may see the shadow just a little bit. But we're still working on this forecast. Maybe we can trend more towards the 20% of the sky being covered. That would mean that some of us probably could see totality pretty easily. That's what we're hoping for. And we're going to have more updates every single day as we get to Monday. Let's start with the morning. As we uh, look towards April 8th, this is for the forecast from April 4th, so a couple days out. In the morning, we have some 40s, probably a lot of clouds. Things may be kind of damp after a few showers on Sunday, Sunday night. There could even be a spotty shower Monday morning. Monday morning, though, kind of cloudy. We get towards lunchtime, we start to push out some of the thicker clouds, but we may still have some of these high clouds. So when you're looking, you do see some blue. You know, if we could get maybe the totality take place right here or something, or, or, or maybe right here, you'd be able to see it pretty nicely. Now, if it's in the thicker clouds, that could be a bit tougher, but this may be the sky that we're dealt with. This is our best guess as of now. The good news is that no matter what happens when we're standing outside, it's gonna be warm. By lunchtime, we're in the mid 60s, and then we should climb towards the 70 degree mark right there at totality. Totality takes place anywhere between about three o'clock to about 311 for Eastern Indiana. It's only over Indiana for about 12 minutes, 13 minutes or so. Not very long, but at least it's warm. This is what we're thinking the sky could possibly look like. Got some high clouds. And when you talk to the experts and other folks who have seen total solar eclipses, it's dark overhead, but around you, you see a little bit of that sunset glow. We may see some of that a little bit when you look off in the distance, but we'll have to see how much definition we see if you've got a couple of these clouds. Now, we can also tell you that compared to a lot of other states, we're actually faring pretty decently. There are a lot of states, especially farther south and back off towards the north and east, especially in Ohio and Pennsylvania, parts of western New York, their cloud forecast is a lot thicker. Here's a very rough look of what we're expecting across the entire state. Generally, central Indiana, we're in that 25 to 50 percent coverage of the sky with some clouds. There may be a shot in western Indiana and extreme southwestern Indiana, so from Evansville to Vincennes to, to Terre Haute, we could be about a fourth of the sky covered or maybe even a little bit less. These zones are going to change over time as we get closer, but right now there's a slight tendency that western 
Indiana, southwestern Indiana, could fare a little bit better on the clouds. Eastern Indiana, we're still mostly in that 25 to 50 percent, but once you get in Ohio, closer to 50 percent because we're pushing those morning clouds out from west to the east. This is our best shot. We'll see what happens. We hopefully can get as much clear sky as possible. But uh, this, this clear sky doesn't go much farther south. It kind of wraps around Illinois. So Illinois has got some decent chances. Southwestern Indiana has probably some really decent chances. Once you go farther south, really to Missouri and uh, Arkansas, southeast Oklahoma and Texas, they've got a lot more clouds. So we'll have to see if Indiana ends up being one of the clearer states. We ha may have more folks trying to come in to watch the total solar eclipse. Could get kind of busy, but we're going to be watching hopefully for some clearing skies right around lunchtime and into the early afternoon so that we can see that we all can see that total solar eclipse take place and get more clouds out of the way. You'll be able to see that Corona, which should be stunning. We'll have more cloud forecasts for you on the way in the next couple of days.